y'all know it's a little dark, but we came out here, a BMW called me out, so I guess I'll give him a run before I head to the house, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. far away from me, uh, everybody as you can see in the video of me pulling in I kind of parked away from everybody I usually do that just because I kind of just want to walk around check out the cars and then just leave I'm usually never like a guy to show off my stuff um, I never pop my hood I, I don't care you know a group of people kind of migrated towards the car of course and a guy started asking me about my YouTube channel you know he was looking at my channel and asking about my subscribers you know how I did it so I'm trying to help him out I'm giving the whole rundown you know telling them you know try to be more consistent even though I'm not really consistent, I try to be, but I was trying to explain that to him. And here comes this guy with this BMW, and he's like, hey man, you trying to run it, you trying to run it, and just keep asking me. And you know, I look at his shirt, and on his shirt, I see that he has his own car on his shirt, and he has his Instagram handle on his shirt. So I'm like, okay, if you come over here and you're calling my car out, you must be pretty confident in your car. So I research his Instagram channel, and I look it up real quick. And of course, you know, I come across some racing that he's doing on his channel. And he kept trying to get me to do dig runs. And I'll probably just blow the tires off. It's just kind of idiotic for me to do. And let's do just do a, a 60 roll. I told him, you know, I'll give you a 60 roll. And, you know, that's it. I didn't know what was done to his car necessarily until I looked on his channel. And I was like, oh, okay. So he's got some mods. He's pretty fast. Um, he's pre beat some pretty good cars, which I'll post right here. I'll post a couple clips right here. <laughs>
Yeah, Mike had his ass, boy. Ass. Mike, fuck this shit up. His car is not no slouch. And then uh, when I walked up to his car, I noticed he had his passenger seat removed. His son was sitting in the back seat, you know, and then I was just like, oh, okay. I heard turbo noises. I was like, okay. You know, I already knew it was the 340 MI, which is basically a Supra, four-door Supra. So I knew he had some mods. Uh, I believe the first race was like a modded Camaro, and then there that was the BMW, and then there was a bike next to us too, a motorcycle, and then the second run, I think it was like a GTO. It was a Hellcat on the far side with B-locks and everything, but he kept trying to stay back because I think he saw the first run, and he kind of didn't want to jump in on the second run because he saw how bad I took off, so it was pretty fun, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that, but um, today is actually my birthday, so I really don't even do too much on my birthdays, honestly. Uh, it's just another day for me. I really barely anybody ever tells me happy birthday sometimes i even forget it but um yeah today's my birthday so i think i'm just gonna clean the car up and uh just probably take a little cruise go get me something to eat sit down and then finish my day off i just got done working so i'm still in the work clothes but uh, i just wanted to pull the car out and clean it up and just kind of enjoy my day for the day that'll be it for today there is a shelby event uh lmr event this saturday on the 22nd i possibly will be out there with broly the gt500 i'll probably take it out there to the event so if any guys want to swing by and uh, say what's up and check out the car i'll probably be out there at that event there is this guy that i follow in the group as well man he has like a mystic cobra with like 10 miles on it uh cobra r a gt500 Man, he got some crazy stuff, and he's going to be out there, too. He was in the group. I don't know if you guys remember when we did that little cruise with the Shelby guys. He was in the red GT500, uh, same color as mine's, actually. And he has a lot of badass cars, so he's going to be out there, too. We may run into some Shelbys on the way there. May possibly get some uh, little runs in with some cars, something like that. Never know, man. Those events are pretty crazy. They actually allow you to take your car around the track. And you can take some laps. I try to get you guys some good content. Like I said, I don't want to be just putting out anything. That's why I don't post every day or, you know, post super often just because I'm not going to be just putting out random content, just putting out stuff. So that's the thing about racing nowadays is a lot of people, they lie. They will be real shady. Their car won't look fast, but it's fast as hell. You know, those are things that you got to look for. You know, why are you riding around in your car with your passenger seat out, everything out in a brand new car? Come on now. You know, you ain't slick. I said it before in my videos. I really don't care too much to be racing. I don't really care for it that much. But, you know, every now and then, you know, somebody called me out. It's like, all right, man, you know what? You're going to keep bothering me? Let's do it. You know, so, and that's what happened. He got spanked. But uh, appreciate the support, man. Peace out.